Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name's Samantha. This is the Budget Mum UK. We have hit 1,000 subscribers. I'm so excited and you are very, very welcome. Right guys, so yeah, um, at this point, I just want to say thank you so much. Like, sincerely, you know how much this means to me. If you are new here, uh, this channel is all about budgeting, financing, helping, come up with ideas, challenges, all those kinds of things that really want to help us stay focused and on track for not spending too much, but still trying to live a good life um, and enjoy ourselves. You will know if you are not new that I had a goal of hitting 1,000 subscribers by the end of January and we did it on the 3rd of January. Oh, I'm so, so happy and so grateful. Oh, you guys are legends. You are legends. So if you are already subscribed, then thank you for making that an absolute dream come true. Yeah, I'm just I'm just speechless. So if you are new here and you want to help us continue on our journey to keep pushing and going and, you know, helping support me make this channel uh, what it is for you guys, then I would absolutely love it if you would consider subscribing. It is free. Yay. Free. Um, so, yeah, you would be very, very welcome. Right. So today is uh, a bit of a, a twofold. I'm going to look at setting a new January goal because you guys helped me smash it and stuffing my Etsy income, which I'm amazed at has gone insane this week again. Um, it sort of comes, ebbs and flows and things like that. So it's really cool. Um, just having a look a bit of a weekly check in just to see what we're up to. Um, it's not very exciting because I've hardly spent anything because I've been too busy. Um, yeah, so that's what we're going to be doing today. So first things first, let's have a look at my new January goal. Right. First thing you may notice, I have now got it spread over two sheets just because there's so much going on over the month and trying to get all the little stickers in. I just felt it a bit more useful to do that. Uh, the only update I've got on this so far is that Holly has got her eye tests. And the only reason I remembered that uh, was because they sent me a text. Otherwise, I might have missed that. <laughs> but that's free, so um, it's part of the NHS. She's only you know, 14, so it's included. It's not something I need to budget for. It's just a trip into town. So my goal of the month, I wanted to make it something other than subscribers and things like that. I didn't want that pressure on myself or you guys. But what my main focus is now, I would actually like to put £1,000 towards debt this month. Now, when you think of my budget and realise I'm only bringing home £2,000 a month, you might wonder how I'm going to do that. If you haven't already checked out my week one cash stuffing, then hopefully you'll be able to see how little I am putting in my spending envelopes at the moment. And from there, I'm hoping I'm going to be able to throw quite a bit in I wonder if I'm being too ambitious. Let's go with, uh, it's just as I'm thinking, I lied. This is why I love these channels. Uh, £500 towards debt, minimum. And then I would love to get a thousand, but I don't know. That should be achievable, 500 if my Etsy store continues the way it has been. So let's have a look at how I'm going to achieve that. I'll have a look at what I've spent so far and I'll have a look at my Etsy income as well. So let's start, first of all, with what I have spent this month or this week so far. So here we go. Bit of a funny one this month because we had Saturday and Sunday, um, New Year's Day and New Year's Eve. But then we also had an extra bank holiday on the Monday the 3rd. So that meant a lot of my usual bills didn't actually come out when they would have done they came out a little bit later so they're all sort of snowballed on top of each other if you like so it did mean that i had a no spend day on the saturday 
mostly spent just trying to tidy the house and just trying to get straight and the same for on the Sunday. I'm going to work really really hard to have as many no spend days as possible just to I just really want to hit that debt. Um, I am planning on filming a video hopefully on Thursday maybe Friday if I don't get to it um, showing you how I plan on paying off my £5,000 debt as quick as possible. I've got a few ideas in the background and I want to plan them out properly and, and get them all down on paper um, and if that's something that you'll be interested in I'm going to be filming that and we're going to look at that and see how that's going to work basically. Um, on the Monday I actually bought some milk and bread and that was £1.76. And then sort of Tuesday, a lot of my bills came out all at once. So I had the children's clubs for £56. Nursery was £4.20. Car was £112. I'm actually going to move the date this car comes out because I can now. I've had it for so long, basically. So I might need to sync that with something else. Insurances, £30. That's not my car insurance because I paid that off before. It's like house insurance. Uh, my rent was four fifty, And my council tax as well was £90. So it looks a bit crazy on there, but anyway. My gas and electricity came out. And my water came out as well. So it was a very busy day in my bank on the 4th. That's the day that it normally comes out, it's the 4th. So then on Wednesday, I got another no spend day. Whew. Which is today <laughs> so far. And I know that I'm not going to be going anywhere to spend anything or do anything. So that's keeping me quite happy. So for now, we can put that down, it's 450, the council tax is 90, gas and electric is 112, water was 24, and insurances came out for 30, the car was 112, the nursery was paid for 24, and then the children's club 56. So that's where we're up to so far with those. And then when I do my new week two check-in, I'll have a look at everything from my fluid envelope as well and put them all together. Okay, so the next thing we're gonna look at is my side hustle income. I've been so busy with Etsy this week. I nearly got to the point of closing the store, sincerely. Uh, I just pulled a lot of late nighters because I don't want to let you guys down. Um, yeah, <laughs> so this actually came into my bank yesterday, even though it should be releasing on the Monday, but with it being a bank holiday and so on and so forth. So the amount I actually got paid was £135 and there was a few pennies change. I've just kept them in the bank just to roll over in case. So I've got, let's see. 20, 40, 60, 80. I'm so clumsy. 90, 110, 20, 35. 135, yay. That's, considering the week before, I was so, so quiet. Well, about two weeks before, that, I don't know. You guys are insane. Like, insanely good. So let's have a look at how much tax I need to put away, how much I'm going to put back into the business for the purchasing of things like um, the, the postage and packaging and all my resources and everything. And then I'll see how much I can actually stuff today. So we've got 135 and we're going to times that 0.3 to give us 30%, which is £40.50. And let's find 20%. 
is £27, which means that I would take it home. 67 oh 67 50 so i have got some pen coins i can change that up for now okay so if i change one of these fives for five ones and one of these tens for two fives okay no bit of a backwards way of doing it but there we go it means i can split this a little bit more evenly so what i'm going to actually do is do 40 pounds back in for tax i always put too much tax in i'm just paranoid about messing them up and then 27 away for um my reinvestment into my business again right so i'm just going to pop the three pounds to one side for a moment emergency i will be putting some in here i'm going to put put 20 in here i don't want to miss this one out my car can get five guess nope school no sorry guys you guys are not getting anything right now and laptop no so that means i'm going to be able to put in 40 pounds towards my credit repayment so that's great that is well on its way now to hitting that 500 pound for this month and the three pounds that can go into my savings jar i'm not putting any in for a couple of days so and it's building up nicely 58 pounds love that love it 